coming up. I develop a passion for flowers. Shake the camera. And I run from a dog. I truly live in a interesting place for sailors. It's a very strange city, Leeuwarden. I live in the Netherlands, in Friesland, with the Great Lakes. You can sail very well here. And we also have a large harbor at the city's heart, at the heart of it. And it used to be a trading route, a trading colony. And loads of sailboats pass through here on the way to Denmark and to the inlands of the Baltic. Fish, things, I don't know, everything got traded here. And there's a lot of traces in the architecture, but there's also still a lot of boats here. Very interesting sailboats. From all over the world, people come to look at its former splendor. You know what? Why not just show you? Ah, welcome to Leeuwarden. This is my hometown. I fell in love with this city and I thought, why not show you around and take you along? So be my guest for this video. It's a bit different than other videos. I'm gonna show you some cool spots and some of the historic ships that lay around Leeuwarden all across town. But first, let's take a look what's lying in the Prinsen town right now. So this is our yachting harbor and there's always interesting ships here. So we're gonna take a walk around. These aluminum yachts are pretty common around here. There's a yacht builder, the Gebroeders van Enkhuizen. They build the Noordkaper. And those are aluminum yachts and I think they're very stunning. What a beaut. So here's what usually happens. I stroll around and what? Wow. This is a beautiful blue catch. Look at that. The matching covers, baby blue with the brown accents. In outstanding shape. If you're watching this and you're the owner, I applaud you. This is really perfection. I'm jealous. It's true. Up next, historic ships. Yes. Here's an Aak, which is a small schuit. And this is a schouw. I want to take a closer look. Running. We made it. Oh man. So how do you know this is a schouw? Well, it has the flat bow. The reason they did this is to make assembly easier. And people used to build these things themselves, mind you. Beautiful woodwork. And it has a wishbone gaff. The top spar is curved. Found another one. With the lee boards instead of a keel. And another one. Isn't she gorgeous? Bye bye. Bye bye. What's next? Is it a crabber? Yes, a Cornish crabber with an angular bow sprit and a straight bow. A very beautiful example with beautiful wood. We gotta go somewhere. Gotta show you something. Run. I promise it's worth your while. You gonna want to see this. We're here. This is the older hover. And it's crooked as hell. 
This is Leeuwarden's attempt at building a tall church tower. It's kinda like a Pisa, I guess. Way less touristic though. Way less revenue. So I know what you're thinking. When are we going to see some bigger ships? I'm gonna show you. Here are some Dutch barges. So these ships were used initially for trading and now a lot of, of them are used to live on. These are flat bottom hulls and they're very buoyant and very stable. They use lee boards, those big wooden fins on the side, so they don't need a keel. And this is a very big advantage. Lots of shallow water in the Netherlands and uh, this uh, ensures they can sail straight into the city center, like here. They have a beautiful ducktail transom, it comes up from the waterline and two big old rudders. Here's a very large and beautiful catch rigged barge. I can imagine this is very comfortable to live on. It's very steady. I have slept on uh, one of those barges before and when you sleep on them in the winter you can hear the ice crack against the sides of the hull, which is steel and it's quite a spooky sound and also very cozy in a way. Most of these have very large old diesel engines and they come with wood stoves to heat the entire thing. Oh, a dog! Gotta run! And finally we arrive at the pinnacle of Frisian pride. Scutches or schuiten in Dutch. These boats have a very interesting shape. So when you look at the bow it's very flat but the stern is very flat as well. Flat bottom holes again with a very shallow draft and a very big old wooden rudder with an old-fashioned tiller. Nice to see. Very large lee boards. This beautiful historic green one is called the Vrouwe Jacoba and it's one of the oldest still floating liveaboard ships of the Netherlands. It's built in 1881. Can you believe that? And it's a schuit, or a chalk. It has an iron hull, nailed together. And that's a professional tie-down right there. I applaud you. And that's it, people. I have nothing more for you. Those were the historic ships of Leeuwarden for now. If you have enjoyed this video, please let me know. Give me a like leave a comment and maybe I'll do a part 2 in the future. For now, smooth sailing.